What's going on everyone? This is Token Gaijin with your scrub play of the day here on Scrubcraft. I'm going to be bringing you a 3v3 random match where I play with Roll and Wes. And I'm going to be spawning as Zerg. As I said, I'm going to keep doing random. And I've really been enjoying doing the random. I've been playing Zerg a lot better than when I usually just rolled, uh, you know, Zerg to begin with. I don't know why. Like, if I pick Zerg, I do terrible. If I roll random, I do really well. But I don't, I don't know if that's just because I get to jump on people, or if maybe I've just been playing Zerg so much I'm getting better. But my Terran gameplay in random is still a little bit suffering, so I'm, I'm kind of happy that I rolled uh, Zerg for this one, especially since I've already got two Terran. So, the build I'm going to be going for, since it is 3v3 and there is another Zerg, is I want to get a 10 pull down, and I want to poke out and see if I can get some harassment out, or maybe even end one of the players. I also want to get Speedlings out because you never know what the other Zerg is doing, and he might be doing a 10 pull as well. And it looks like he's got a early six pool, so that is something that's really bothersome and could cause me a lot of trouble. So I always do like to get that ten pool down. My ten pool is going down right now, and I am going to get ready to get some zerglings out as fast as possible. So I mean, this is just a very basic uh, ten pool. I mean, a six pool can be problematic. However, my economy is going to be a lot better than his is, so I'm going to be able to get a lot more speedlings out. And not only that, I don't really know where he is, so I don't know who I'm going to be hitting first. So, most likely going to be one of the Terran, and it looks like the Terran are, I don't really know what the Terran are doing. Happy is doing this really weird, not walling off, uh, I mean, it, it looks like Mr. Two is walling off, but, so that, that's good, but I mean, I should have probably hit Happy, but I don't, I do hit Mr. Two, I don't know why, I didn't think that, uh, Miss, uh, uh, Happy over here was actually an opponent for some reason when I go past his base, I'm just thinking, oh, my, my friends there, I didn't really look at my minimap to think this too much through, I just kind of, Went with it, balls to the wall, just picked the, uh, picked yellow and went for it. So I'm going to be getting my zerglings out. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, attacking right away. I want to get at least four, or maybe even a couple more to attack. You really don't have to get too much. It's it's kind of like scouting and poking out and kind of making your opponents think you're going to keep up the harassment. It's kind of a trick play. It can bite you in the ass, or it can work really well and cause your opponent to turtle up and do stupid things. So I'm going to get my queen out, just a couple zer zerglings to start. And I'm going to get a little bit more zerglings as well, since I am getting close to that supply block. I am getting out an overlord. Make sure to watch your overlord production when you are doing a zergling uh, rush. So I got four coming out, and I'm going to get a little bit more in a, in a bit, but as of right now, I'm not too concerned about chugging too many out. And even though Mr. Two has started to wall off, he hasn't completed it. There are giant holes in this thing, and I don't know if he notices that, but this is going to allow me to just swoop right into his wall and start poking at his forces. Now, he does have a Marine a marine coming out. He's got a ton of cube, way too many cube, but I'm going to uh, stop this SCV. Yeah, SCV. There we go. Sorry for that. I'm completing this supply depot. I'm going to go hit his line. And now I'm also going to start getting my forces to rally. I, I think, no, not directly yet, but I'm going to start rallying too here because I want to start hitting him as much as possible. I got two more Zerglings on the way. And it looks like his Zerg alley, Raiden, is coming to back him up. But, you know, I really don't need to finish him off. I'm not too concerned about this cheese working 100%. So I could go for this Marine, but you know, that many feelings decide not to. I want to get as many SCVs as possible. So I just keep hitting his line. And yeah, that's just way too much shit for me to deal with. I cannot deal with that marine and that uh, those zerglings. But I decide, you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna let them die, and then I'm just gonna turn my rally point back to my base and get some uh, zerglings out because I could run them back to my base. But I do want to just keep them here as long as possible, just to keep their attention drawn to that. Because I have two players drawing their attention and not focusing on their build, which really helps my team out. So my team is doing a very weird build. I don't really know what Wes is doing. I do know that Wes is a really new player. He was unranked, so I don't even know if he knows what he's doing yet. But he goes for a really weird strategy that helps to contain. And it I've never seen someone as scrubby as him do what he does. But you know what? I'm going to give it to you, Wes. Hats off. I'm not calling you a noob. I'm calling you the most awesome scrub I've played with in 3v3 because your stupid tactic works and just turtles these guys in and I'm loving every second of it and anytime a really scrubby tactic works I I just gotta give a thumbs up because it's just hilarious I'm gonna go ahead and expand get my get my natural because there's really no reason to keep building speedlings I saw that he did get a couple speedlings out but I'm not too concerned about him overcommitting to speedlings because you know he did get a six pull down I noticed he had a lot more speedlings than me so I know that he probably had a six pull and his economy is really really bad and as you can see his economy is horrid He's not droning up properly. He's not even really rallying them. So, I mean, Raiden is also really new to this game, and it, I'm really not too concerned about him. I'm more concerned about purple, because I've crippled yellow. 
and I know Raiden is Raiden is building up his troops, so I, I'm gonna have to deal with him. But really, right now my major concern is this purple purple player because I really haven't seen anything from him, and that's who I'm gonna probably be poking out next. So. I rally my Zerglings down here. I really don't need to build too much more because I'm going to transition into Roaches. So as you see, I get double extractors down and I got my Roach worn down. I'm a little late on getting the gas because I was just making sure that I had the option of getting out as many Speedlings as possible and keeping my mineral count to an all-time high. And I really don't know why Wes. Wes was just hitting this stupid, hey, over here, over here, everywhere. And it was really, really annoying. But remember, he's a newer player, so I don't know if that's the only way he can communicate. But that's what he was deciding to do. But... Yes, the reason I get the late gas is because when you're in a situation in 3v3 or 4v4 and you have another Zerg opponent and you just did a speeding rush, you really don't know if they're going to come back and try to retaliate. So that's why I got a spine crawler here, I got an extra queen so I can not only just spread creep, but also get some extra defenses at the base. And that's why I didn't get my gas until my roach warren was down, because I don't need the roaches extremely early. And I want to keep my drones on the minerals so I can get uh, extra uh, Zerglings if need be and just pump them out as fast as possible. But I really didn't need it. They didn't poke out, so I'm in the clear. So I'm just going to get my second queen at this base. So I have a total of three queens, which is really, really good because I can just have two on the bases, getting that extra larvae when needed. And also I can start spraying my creep with another, and I'm starting to push out roaches. And roaches are going to be the bread and butter of my force. Actually, they're not even just going to be the bread and butter. They're going to be my entire force. I do think about tech switching, but I mean, it really, you'll, you'll see in the, in the game, I really don't need to. You really have to assess in uh, 3v3 and 4v4 if you need to tech switch, because usually you don't have to. Because 3v3 and 4v4 usually isn't about a mixture of troops or tech switching. It's usually just about going all in for one strategy. And if their strategy doesn't work against yours, you're in the clear. So I'm just going to keep droning up at my two bases. I'm droning up a lot more on my secondary base. I'm going to get these other two extractors down. And I'm just really concentrating on getting uh, roaches out and spreading this creep. But I'm not really too concerned about overdoing it. And as you can see, purple is moving down here to expand it at the high grade, which is something that we really don't want to happen. So we're going to have to end it. And we actually do spot it because I have an overlord right here. So as soon as there's been that, that uh, expansion, we're going to go and end it so we don't have to worry about it. And he is turtled up pretty well, even though uh, if he doesn't have that many troops. But the fact that he's got these two bunkers and these two uh, tanks that are about to get sieged, uh, he's pretty well defended. And it's not going to be easy with the troops that we have now to get to him. So he's pretty protected. And it looks like uh, Mr. Two is back up on his feet. He does have an expansion come uh, down already. So he decided that he was going to just just bunker down and get as much minerals as need be because he's really, really got to rebuild. And it looks like uh, Raiden hasn't done anything. He really hasn't expanded. And he's just kind of sitting here. So he's really new as well. He's unranked as well. So we got two unranked people and we got uh, four silver players. So... It was kind of a weird but interesting match, and I, I, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, we're going to hit this base. Uh, he didn't have much here. He had like two Marauders and three Marines. So, my, I mean, my Zerglings and these Marine backup is just easily going to destroy it. He's got to cancel that base. He knows that there is no way he's going to be able to take it with the troops he has. I mean, he could unbunker these, but that would be suicide, because then I could get that surround and let the Marines just nom on his forces. And plus, I'm getting this Roach backup. I don't have too many Roaches right now. But I, I have 16, but I will be pumping out a lot more, especially since I have the secondary base. So I'm morphing my hatchery into my lair. Uh, I'm a little late to do that because I've been preoccupied looking around the map, trying to figure out what I need to do, if I need to poke out anywhere. So I'm getting some overlords. I was getting a really supply block because I'm just concentrating on getting so much out. And I'm starting to move my overlords around because they're starting to bunch up. You don't want to do that. I'm doing it. I remember... I am, even though I am a little, I'm Silver League, I'm still a little scrubby, especially when it comes to Zerg, because I haven't played Zerg in a long time, so even though I've been playing a lot of games, I'm still getting uh, used to playing a Zerg, it's not like Protoss where I can just, ma you know, throw my pylons exactly in the perfect spots, I'm still getting used to placing troops and overlords in different places at the same time, and there's a lot more going on in Zerg as compared to other races, so you gotta pay attention to way more. So we're gonna keep uh, poking out around here. Uh, we did try to go up the ramp and we died, so that, that's where all my Zerglings are. We poked up this ramp and they just have way too much stuff. And uh, as you can see, Wes is still getting out these ghosts. And these ghosts are really all he's going to do. Even though Happy is moving out here, he's trying to get this uh, high grade. I'm not going to let him because I see on Wes's screen that he's, he's patrolling this high grade. And he's going to be going for his ghost. But I'm just going to throw these roaches in. Even though he loses that ghost, which is unfortunate, I'm just going to push him back into his siege line. There's nothing he can do. But this siege line is really problematic, and 
it's really kind of annoying. I want to hit happy, but I just don't have the roaches yet, so I'm going to I'm going to stop. I'm not going to over advance. I'm just going to keep building a little bit more roaches. And I decide, you know what? If you're going to overcommit to turtling up like this, I might as well take advantage. And I'm going since I have the bigger force of troops, I am going to take this high grade because I need a third base. And remember as Zerg the key is always, 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 always expand. And you'll see later how fast I can reinforce after my forces fall. Because your forces are weaker than other forces usually. I mean, even your, your bulky armored forces do have a little bit problem standing other ones. I mean, except for roaches. I don't know what it is about roaches, but I love them. They're really bulky for 1.5. It's probably one of the only Zerg units besides Ultralis. Those are the two bulky ones. And they're really bulky, but everything else is like light and fluffy. It's, you know, just like fighting marshmallows. So... You gotta be careful with Zerg, and you gotta remember that Zerg's strength is multiple hatcheries and being able to just reproduce mad units. I've got an absurd amount of roaches now, so I'm not too concerned about defending this high grade, which is exactly what I want to be getting because it's just gonna just, just jump my economy to a level that far exceeds anyone else's on this map. I mean, even though Mr. Two has two bases down, I've had two for a while. I've nearly completely drained my first base, and uh, Raiden, he's a Zerg, he should be expanding, but he's just turtling up, and I don't know why he's doing that, and this is biting him in the ass so much more than it needs to be. I mean, he is getting some Zerglings in this base to poke at Roll, but I mean, Roll's not really too worried about it. He's gonna keep mining and say whatever. So I decided to burrow my roaches, because it's always good to burrow units if you're not really using them. I, I mean, you're Zerg, so like, if he does bring something else up and he doesn't have that stupid uh, detection from his missile turrets, I'm just gonna pop up and just ruin his day. So I'm just going to keep Broad Roaches here. That's plenty of defense. He really doesn't have too many units out, even if he does get more. I mean, Roaches just destroy and wreck Marines and Marauders. I mean, especially when they're balled up like this. So I'm just going to continue my Roach production. I am getting some Overseers, so I can get some detection out. And also, I'm going to start to get some uh, Thrones on this base. I do want to start getting this high grade, because that's going to really just jumpstart my economy. And my, my first base is kind of getting a little bit more drained. And I haven't, I don't know why I didn't do it. I did it really late. I got my Evo Chambers down a little way too late. And it's kind of something that I was pissed off about. Because I had all these minerals and gas. And I really wasn't utilizing properly. But like I said, I'm still a little rusty with Zerg. So I haven't been spending my Econ as wisely as I could be. Because I just get a little, I'm still a little flustered by everything going on. But I decided to get out of Spire. Because I'm not seeing too much anti-air from Purple. Remember, my fixation is Purple right now. And even though Mr. Two has enough to destroy any air that I sent at him, I was thinking about getting some air for some cover and, you know, to hit him from behind. And I do decide to build another hatchery because the more hatcheries you have, the more troops you can you can build and it's at a quick pace. So I'm going to start getting this base saturated. My first base, I'm going to start transferring some drones from this, and I'm also going to drop two Evo Chambers soon. But for now, I'm trying to get this uh, Spire out, and I am trying to get this Evo Chamber, and soon I'm going to hit Purple. I'm just, I've just had enough. I tried to just do it while, you know, burrowed, but, you know, he's got way too many de much detection right now. So he's right through that, especially since he's been poked by Ghost. So I'm just like, screw it. Let's just go up the ramp and see what we can do. And, I mean, this is just a testament to how bulky roaches are. I always say I love roaches just because they're so bulky for 2 one point. Look at all the tank fire that was just lining up. I lose a ton of roaches, but even with all these siege tanks, he cannot stop his roaches because they're just so damn bulky. And this noob just perfectly goes off. I mean, I know Wes is noob noobish, but that noob would, couldn't be more perfectly timed because even though I had all these roaches, my roaches would have fallen to all those marines in where I was probably after a while. So I have to give props to Wes that nuke couldn't have been more perfectly timed and just allows me to just send my weak roaches in to just start mopping up his building. So he's going to take off all of this shit and just run away, which, you know, he should do. I'm not calling him a coward. That's actually probably the smart thing to do because there's no way he can deal with the forces I, I'm able to build. So he's just going to keep running away and I'm just going to keep building off of this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get another queen at this hatchery soon. I don't know if I've gotten my... Yeah, I'm... I'm kind of all over the place. I apologize for my really scrubby Zerg play, but I am just having... Look at this. Look at all the roaches I can build. This is what I mean by building multiple hatcheries. I just reinforced what I just lost and doubled my forces. I have 50 roaches out now. That's a ludicrous amount. And I built them so quickly. I mean, look at all of them. They were all built nearly instantaneously and just transferred over. So that's what I mean when you got to get those multiple hatcheries. If you're newer to StarCraft and you want to play Zerg, Use their strengths to your advantage. There's no reason to just bottle up on one base. With all these hatcheries, I've got four hatcheries now. 
I can just pump out roaches all oh, goddamn day. I've got 56 out. And I can just keep reinforcing this as much as I want to. Especially now that i got the high grade. I'm starting to get a lot more drones on that. I've taken nearly all of my drones off of my main. And this is when I drop my double Evo. It's about damn time. And now I've got overseers every so so they go for coke play. It's not gonna it's not gonna go well with me, and I'm just just continuing to back up my larva on all my hatcheries because I just want to keep pumping out roaches and overwhelming them. That is the whole point of being Zerg. I mean, sometimes you get a little bit more of a late start than other people, especially when you're switching from Zerglings into roaches and you're trying to get all these expansion down. But one, if you're allowed to build up as a Zerg, unlike the Protoss who just has ludicrous tech, as a Zerg you just have the means to build way too much shit for anyone to deal with. You can just keep backing it and backing it and backing it up. But make sure you're constantly pumping out units, and not only that you're constantly pumping out units, that you're constantly putting larva on all your bases, so that way you can just keep reinforcing and reinforcing and reinforcing. So I'm going to burrow down and start pushing out. I want to hit yellow again. I know purple has gone over here. I really don't know where he is, but he's, he's just right up here. He didn't go to a base, because I checked down here and he didn't move down here, which is kind of smart because I would have just ended him there. So I want to start pushing out. Now this is a lot of Thors, and even though I do have a ton of roaches, I'm not going to be too comfortable fighting this many Thors. But I'm still going to poke anyway because I want to see if I can actually do it because the good thing about roaches, and this is something else that a lot of people don't do, is a lot of people don't use their burrow to their ability. When you burrow with roaches, you regenerate. So if you just, in the middle of battle, burrow and pop up, you're going to get some health back and you're going to be able to get some roach health. I mean, it, look at, my roaches are surviving far longer because of it, but there's just too many goddamn stores, so I'm just like, bug out. Need to get out of here. My single firing is doing really well, but he's pumping out three Thors at a time, it looks like. No, two at a time. That's a lot of Thors. I really don't want to mess with that, so I'm just going to retreat and rebuild my forces. And, you know, th that's okay. I could have probably pushed in and gotten a couple more units, but I really didn't want to. I really didn't want to give him the mindset that he could come out and push me, especially since I am a little bit lower on the Roach count than I'd like to be right now. So I just need to resupply and get everything underway. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep keep mining my base, uh, keep macroing up. I'm getting some tech down. I'm finally getting some upgrades on my roaches. So some armor and some attack. And I'm also starting to tech up air because I think I want to get some air to hit the Zerg. And I know that sounds really dumb. Everyone's like, well, there's a lot of Hydras and there's a lot of Thor. Why'd you get air? But Broodlords can shoot from a distance and with Roach in the front, you can easily get those Broodlings in and just, just overwhelm your opponent. So that was my original goal. But then I realized I really didn't need to do it because, I mean, just roaches after roaches after roaches after roaches, there's nothing they could do about it. So Purple is just sitting here. I really don't know why. what Purple's doing. She's just kind of waiting here. I don't know if he plans to move out to a base or what, but he's just kind of sitting around. He should have taken that failed attack and expanded down here. He probably would have been fine because I, that's probably... I want to get yellow out of the way. And he knows that I've been charging in yellow. I've been kind of poking his face. I mean, even look at Blue. Blue goes in the Thor's and Marine, but he doesn't have that much to deal with it. And so those Thor's and Hydra's are, are going to once again defeat our forces. And while it does, it is kind of, you know, annoying that they're getting all these little victories, I'm really not too concerned because we ha I have so many bases compared to them. I'm getting out another hatchery at another middle line because Red is not taking it. And he had no inter interest in taking it. I mean, he's just got all these SCVs back here. Like, like I said... He's a newer player, and he doesn't know really when and when not to expand. He should have expanded, but since he didn't, I was just like, you know what, whatever. If you're not going to expand, I will. I'm going to get this other hatchery because my main desperately needs it. And now I'm just re-upping my roach army. I've got 73 out right now, and we're just going to go to town because, I mean, uh, it's I'm getting kind of tired of waiting, and I'm getting enough roaches to the point where I can easily just push out and dominate this map. I've got the... Tr I've got the biggest army on the map and I can just keep reinforcing. I mean look, I've still got a ton of larvae here. I'm getting more and more larvae on these bases. This is what I mean by Zerg using these hatcheries to their fullest. This is how Zerg are threatening because most of the time when you're in the lower leagues especially, the reason why a lot of people don't like playing a Zerg and think Zerg are super weak is because they don't take advantage of one the Zerg's strength. They can just send wave after wave after wave after wave and they can rebuild twice as fast as anyone else. I mean it would have taken a Terran like Three times this amount of time to do anything. So I do have a lot of observers just running around the map, but these Marines try to catch them off guard. I'm like, you know what? Screw you, ha screw you, Happy. You should be dead. I'm just going to end these little Marines that you're poking out with, and now I'm going to hit your base because you've just pissed me off. Don't hit my overseers. I've also got a second Spire out, and I'm planning to just start massing up upgrades and also to just start pumping out Broodlords, but 
I decided to poke out and see if that's even necessary, and it's really, really not, because as you can see, I am starting to single fire these down. I am getting this one tank, which is normally hitting me, but with so many roaches, I'm just like, oh man, I might not be able to do it again, but no, here he is, roll to the save, to the save, for the save, and for the win, getting these marines and these stores out to help me out. So I'm going to be able to push out with his forces and my roaches, and our combined forces are just be way too much for these roaches to handle, and I... I think my roaches on themselves would have been too much for him to handle. I don't know why I didn't push out and waited for him. But you know what? The more the merrier, and why not wait for him? Because that just gives me back up and takes a little bit of stress off. Damn tank by Happy. Just holding on to these stupid tanks are still pissing me off. And I'm not using my roaches as their full. It's just kind of silly. I don't know why I'm doing that. I uh, can't remember what I was doing. Oh, I was moving, moving drones to my new base and being dumb and scrubbish. So yeah, his tanks are going to get a way more kills than they should be allowed to get. And while I'm sitting here just trying to get, you know, shit in place, I don't know what I was doing. What are you doing, Token? What are you doing just leaving your roaches there to die? But I really don't lose that too, too many roaches, even though I do have a lot of them weak. And I decided to just sit, hit all these stupid supply depots. And the reason I want to do that is because I don't want him to be able to get as many Thors as possible. And he really can't anyway because his main is just completely depleted. So he's going to move his base out and see what luck he can have and another mineral patch. But, you know, I'm like... I'm just going to charge your main and take that out because I'm sick of your main. So, roaches just be hit and hit and hit these damn, damn tanks. I feel really, really pissed off for them. But, you know, I have a lot of roaches still and I can easily deal with this. And plus, I'm just massing them back up at my bases again. And now that I've got my fourth down, and because my main is like just nearly depleted and I finally got upgrades up, I really don't have to worry about it. I, and just in case this doesn't fall through, I do have the Greater Spire popping up now. How many roaches sitting here? I don't know why they rallied, because I kept pushing the rally over there, but they weren't rallying, so... Just a lot of stupid little mistakes on my part near the end, but... I mean, I'm, I've got so many hatcheries to take care of, this is why I'm making so many little stupid mistakes that I shouldn't be. But it really doesn't even matter, because now I'm just gonna swap up and finally get happy. Yeah, you're not gonna go anywhere with these stores and marines, buddy. He's trying to go away, I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna kill everything that I can here. And this is when this Zerg decides to finally pop down, but... This is like all he has. He's been spending the entire game and this is all he has. We have like not seen anything from the Zerg. And he's just like, oh, I'll come down and save the day. But there's no way you can fight 57 roaches with that. Get the fuck out, boy. So I'm just going to charge into his base and just start massacring him. Take this fire out first. It's the most interesting thing. I still don't know if he's got an expansion or not. I assume he didn't. But just in case, I wanted to make sure that I got everything. So I get that spawning point. That new starts coming down. He's like, oh shit, get out of the way. Because don't, you don't want to get your own forces nuked by your ally. And I start finishing everything up. And I've got a conga line of roaches just continuously pushing out. And I mean, it's it's been game over for a while. Ever since I've been able to get that high grade, it's been game over. But now, we're just solidifying our win. And I'm deciding to actually build hatcheries in other places. Because this is just completely nearly mined out. And I wasn't paying too much attention to my bases. Because, I mean, I was paying attention to getting all my roaches out here. And over here. And just trying to attack everything at once. So I am going to send out some of these to go make some bases. I, I, find, I get a hatchery down here, but I do get taken out by these stupid Thors by Mr. Two. Yeah, standing guard and their new base over here. And I don't really don't know what the fuck they're planning on doing. Because look, look at how many minerals are here. There's nothing here. So Mr. Two is just like, I'm going to leave. Which is, which is the appropriate response because my conga line of roaches is starting to come this way. Even though I misclicked them. There's... Some of them are dying, but, I mean, it doesn't even matter, because look at all those roaches coming to offend, to avenge their fallen comrades, and that's going to be the GG. Now, when you're playing a Zerg in 3v3, it's kind of a little bit more difficult, especially in 3v3 and 4v4, to expand, because you also have partners expanding, but when you're playing in the more scrubby leagues, and I don't know why I had two unranked players in here, because I, I am top tier silver, I am, I am in the top three in my league, so I was kind of surprised to be playing two unranked, with two unranked one being on my team and one being my opponent, but you know, that that just happens because sometimes not enough people like searching in your same tier, and it just tries to throw you into match as fast as possible. So if you're given the opportunity to Zerg, keep expanding. The amount of hatcheries I had, I could just keep sending out roaches all goddamn day. And not only that, I had nearly completely teched up spires. So if I needed to hard switch, even though I've got two bases nearly completely depleted, Actually, three bases nearly completely depleted. Wow. At the end there, I still have this base. I'm sitting on way too many minerals in Vespian. So even though I lost my Roach army, even though I'm still getting this base out, nearly all the bases on the map are nearly depleted. And since I've been mining off of far more than anyone else, I have just this huge economic advantage that no one else is going to have. 
So even if it does come down to it and I lose this force, I'm going to be able to keep resupplying and resupplying for quite some time, even off of one base, because I do have a ton of minerals and a ton of Vespian. And they're rebuilding. I'm not having to rebuild anything. Everything that I have is still up and running. So that's just going to give me the advantage. So always remember, if you're playing a Zerg, it is going to be a little disheartening at first, because Zerg, as I said, are the hardest race in this game to play. At least I think so, and most people that I talk to think so. But they are powerful and extremely menacing, especially when you just keep massing up units. I mean, I just kept sending wave after wave after wave at them, and that is exactly what you need to do. Get that swarm mentality. Get up to 68 to 80 roaches at a time, and just keep pushing out, and you will decimate your opponent. And that is it for now. This is Token Gaijin signing out. Later, nerds.